Hello, you yeah, are welcome to HeroTech Systems, and I welcome you to our free CCNA Lab video series. In this series, I'll show you how to build and set up computer networks using simple step-by-step -step labs. So whether you're new to networking or you just want to practice, these videos will help you learn important CCNA topics like IP addressing, routing, switching, and many more. So let's get started. For our first lab, I'm going to be showing you how to connect two PCs together and ping them successfully. I'm going to maximize my Cisco Packet Tracer window. And this is basically the simplest network that you can create. So it's just about bringing two PCs together and connecting them. A window that each computer has a network jack. So how do you link two pieces together and actually make them communicate using your network jacks. That is what this lab is about. And like I said before, this is basically the simplest network you can create. So the first thing that we need to do in Packet Tracer, if you're new to Packet Tracer and you do not have Cisco Packet Tracer to practice this lab, I've done a video on how to download Cisco Packet Tracer and install it on your PC. I'll drop the link to that video so, in the description. Right in, so, so let's just get right um, into right into it. Um, so the first thing we need to do with in your package is you're going to come to your devices here. So end devices, I'll click on end devices and I'll hold my PC and I'll drag to the work area in packet tracer. So I have one PC labeled as PC2. And I have another one labeled as PC3. So in this lab series, I'll be showing you how you can, you know, get around Cisco Packet, packet Tracer. Um, the tips, the tricks of Packet Tracer, how you can do things faster. I'll be, I'll be teaching you different uh, methods. So um, I, I want to rename the, the, the PCs um, to PC0 and PC1. So I'm going to click on this pc2 here and i can rename it so this will be pc0 and this is pc1 okay so there are other ways which you can bring up pcs or routers you know devices in general to the work area and packet tracer one method is to hold and drag which is what i just did now another method will be to click on the device you want to bring up to the work area. In this case, I'm bringing up a PC. So I'm going to click on it and I can go to my work area. You can see that my cursor has changed to a cross and then I click on any parts of, of the work area, any of the white you know, space in the work area and it will drop the PC. So that's a, a different way. Um, if you want to remove a PC, I can select it. So just click on any part of the work area and then hold and drag across the device that you want to delete. So I'm going to click and drag. And on the tool, toolbar here, you can see there are different tools here. So this one is the delete um, tool. So I'm going to click on it. And you can see it's asking me, do you want to delete PC4? So yeah, delete. All right, so now that we have our two PCs in our work area, PC0, PC1, we can now connect both of them together. So to get your cables in Packet Tracer, you come to this lightning bolt icon, and this lightning bolt icon is for connection. So I'm going to click on this. Now, when I click on the cable icon, in packet tracer, you can see there are different types of cables. So the first one is the automatic cabling. So I'm going to begin with automatic cabling uh, because for different type of devices, there are different type of cables that you should use in packet tracer. So if you're connecting a, a, a PC to a router or a PC to a switch, you know there are different type of cables that you should use. But if you're not um, so if you're not if you don't know what type of cable to use for a particular you know, connection, what you can do is to use the very first one. So this is automatic and packet tracer would automatically connect the devices with the right 
key. So I'm going to use that for now. As we progress, I'll be showing you the right cables to use for different connections. So I'm going to use this and I'll click on PC0 and then drag my connection to the other PC. And when it gets there, I just click on it and you can see the PCs are connected. And how do you know they are connected? So you know they're connected with this triangle. So this triangle, if it has a green light, it means that the connection is functional, it's active. But if it has a red light, then you know there's a problem with the connection. Maybe it could be a wrong cable type that you've used or any other, any other reason. It could be half duplex, a duplex or speed mismatch between the devices. So with the green light, it shows that yes, the connection is active and is functional. So Packet Tracer also has a test tool. So you can test connectivity. So if I, this is the ping test, you could use this envelope, uh, this tool that looks like an envelope and you can test connectivity between, you know, both devices. And this is the result area. And this area will show you, you know, where, whether your connection test is successful or not. So let's try to ping. I'm going to click on the envelope and I'll take the envelope to the first PC and I'll click on the first PC and then click on the second piece. So it says PC1 has no functional ports. Now, what that means is that um, the, for two devices to communicate, there has to be an IP address. The both devices have to have an IP address configured on it. And without the IP address configuration on it, it's not going to work. So I'm going to go into PC1. And you can assign IP addresses from the GUI or from the CLI. So in this video, I'll be assigning IP address from the GUI. So we'll go to the fast internet port. And we can set the IP address for this PC to 192.168.1.1. And we set the summary mask. .255.0. So this is a submit mask. And I'll do the same thing for the other PC. Okay, so 192.168.1.2 and 255.255.255.0. So if you do not understand submitting, um, I just want you to stay with the video series and we'll cover subnetting as uh, as we go along. So for now, this is the IP address I've given to both, both PCs and I can run my ping test again to see if this is going to work. So I ping from PC0 to PC1. All right, so you can see that this is successful. We can also ping from the command prompt of PC0 so we'll do that, click on PC0, click on desktop and go to the command prompt. Uh, okay, so you can ping 192.168.1.2. So this is the IP address of PC1. So enter on your keyboard. Now you can see that I'm, receiving, I'm getting replies from PC PC1, which is 192.168.1.2, that's IP address. So this connection is successful. So here's the video, guys. And in our next video, we'll be creating, you know, a more complex topology. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.